Put them on. I'll put us, I got us both some. Hi, girls. Hello. Hi, girls. Oh, please don't mess up. Girl. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Girls. Girl. 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 Open, Open your, your Bible. Bible. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, Alex. Hey, Alex. Cherry, put your glasses on real quick. Huh? Put your glasses oh on. Oh, my gosh. Oh my I won't God. be able to see. Just for a second. I won't be able to see. Hello, we got ladies. our Barbie hello. glasses on. We celebrated my soon to be six year old should be six uh -huh, on Wednesday uh -huh. um but anyway we got the little girls these Barbie glasses yes yes so I thought it'd be fun to be Barbie they had a time. good time at the party oh geez. we're just jamming while everyone joins thank you Alex hey Mercedes hey Mercedes come hi, on y'all party, party with us hi Mark hey, hey can't even see the name. You're doing a good job. Hi. You can change hey, it. Val. Hey! Oh, now Lex, the time change. Okay. Because you know we always wonder. Hi, Elizabeth. Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, Taylor. Hey, Taylor. Whenever I hear oh, something like this, I want to do like this. Feel the spirit taking over. Hi, April. Oh, Hi, Erica. Oh. Hey. It's a Monday, ladies. Like y'all don't know that. I know you know it. So this song is about the Holy Spirit taking over you. Yeah. When we first heard it, obviously it's in a different language, so we were like, what okay, are they like, saying? What are they? I don't know. And it says, Holy Spirit ginger me, which is take over me. Take over me. That's yeah. what we want. Yes. Like, Lord, take over yes. us. It sure is. What time is the name? What's the name of this song? Okay. It is Taking Over by Bridge Music. Ah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Hi, Heather. Taking Over. Did you say it's Monday? I sure it's did. It's Monday. Hey, Kalina. Oh, it's been the spirit taking over me. Oh, over me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever said, hey, everyone, it's filling the blank of the day and then been wrong? I've done okay. that. And I'm like, it is not the day I just said. Okay. Oh, hey, hey, Natasha. Hey, Natasha. Yes. She said, I thought it was okay. Tuesday. Okay. Okay. Oh, All Monday, you thought it was Tuesday. That happens sometimes. How was y'all weekend? Sierra mentioned this earlier. Her daughter turned six. Yep. Had a Barbie party, which is why we have these glasses on. Barbies. We had a good time. Yeah, she had fun. She mm -hmm. was a beautiful Barbie. She was a beautiful Barbie. I kind of want to turn this on. Hey, Sabrina. Yeah. Oh, hi, Jenny. Hey, Jenny. Welcome, girl. Oh. Welcome. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, so, happy birthday to see you. Mm -hmm. To my... To my little mini me. Yes, yes. But we thought it'd be cute to wear our Barbie, our Barbie glasses yes. for all the Barbie girls out there. Although I'm about to switch to my real about, glasses. Yeah, we're about to I can see. She yeah. said she can't see, but she does need to see when she does this okay. recap. Okay. Oh, hey, no. hey, she no. gotta do the no. recap. She gotta do the recap. Oh, no. She gotta do I the recap. Hey, you gotta Jerry. do the recap. You gotta do the recap. You gotta do. You gotta do the recap. We just get pumped up. Uh -uh. So we're, if you guys don't know, we're sitting in our boutique Hi, right Holly. now. Hey, Holly. Yvonne, it looks like you did something really cool this weekend. Congratulations on that. Yeah. <laughs> For the Lord, Sabrina. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what she's talking about that. She's talking about that recap. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that's what she's talking Ooh. about. Tag your girl squad. Tag your girl squad. Yeah! Open up your mind. So, yeah, so this is a new time. Hopefully, everyone can still join. Hey, K. 
DJ was song. was mixing the beats tonight. Okay, okay. Uh, DJ like Apple Music. Okay, okay. DJ <laughs> Playing Apple. all of our favorites right now. Oh Lord, the, I made it, sis. <laughs> woo, 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 she made it. Okay, okay. Let's do this. Let me pray real oh, quick my. Of before course, you go. Of course. Okay, dear Heavenly Father, bless these women, Lord. Bless these women, Lord. Let them hear their assignments in their instructions lord let them hear what you have for them when you were preaching mm -hmm. when you were here let them hear what it means for them now in jesus name amen 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 boom boom, boom yes boom. on the live okay so you got the timer get it, up get it get it i'm gonna try to it, do it in one minute it. for real Hey! Oh, so wait, 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 wait. maybe one and a half. Wait, minute. wait, 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 wait. Maybe wait, I can wait. do it in one and a half. Why are you minutes? trying to do that? Where you go? One and a half minutes. All right. I will try and to do it in. Go. Okay. So we start out in Matthew one with the genealogy of Christ. Before we did Matthew, we read Ruth, and we see here how Ruth and her lineage directly went to the lineage of Christ. Right. One is all about, and I keep going back and forth this every time I do it, but it's all about the dreams. Joseph was like, this girl is pregnant. I cannot marry her, so I'm going to let her go. And an angel came and spoke to him and said, no, nah, you're going to stick beside her. And so he did. And an angel came to Mary and said, you are impreg you are you have been impregnated by, by the Lord, and you will give birth to Jesus. And so she gave birth to Jesus. And so then we we go into two, and we're talking all about the wise men. The wise men went and talked to Herod, should not have done. He like, oh, okay, yeah, go. Let, let, let your boy know what happened after uh -huh. you go. They went, found Jesus, praised, worship. Angel said, don't go that way. Y'all better go, go another way. way. And so then Herod was mad. He's like, uh-uh, somebody, the son, the, Jesus was born. The mm -hmm. son of God was born, so mm -hmm. I'm killing all the babies. All the babies. One and a half minutes. I'm killing all the babies under two. And so he, he sent a decree out, but once again, Joseph was told, you need to go somewhere else, and he did. And so then we get to four, <laughs> the tempting of Jesus. Jesus went into the wilderness, mm -hmm. and then um, after 40 days and 40 nights okay, of fasting, the devil came. Yep. And the devil was speaking in his ear, do this, do that. I can give you this. I can do that. He said, Satan, get thee behind me, which is what we have to do. We have to we, do. What we have to do, because here's we the thing. We have to. It's not if you're tempted, it's when. Yes. Right? Yes. You will be tempted. Satan will come after you to show you something. Yes. Right? And yes. the thing to is give about, you the counter. Right. And the thing Remember. is, temptation. I'm going all off. I'm past one and a half minutes. Hey. Temptation. Let's right. just throw this out here. My yes. mom said this once and it was so good. She said, temptation is something you probably want to do. Mm -hmm. That's why it's yeah, tempting. That's why it's tempting. That's okay. why it's tempting. That's why it's tempting. You don't do. You yes. tell Satan to get behind you mm -hmm. because he tries to come in to steal, kill, destroy, and distract you from the things of the Lord. Yeah. Right? Because then it's not that Jesus is so far from you, but you feel like he is because you know what you just did. Mm -hmm. Okay? Throwing it out there. Then we get okay. the five, which is Jesus. Sermon on the Mount, the Beatitudes, it's just yes. beautiful. It is What beautiful. does God say that we need to be um to be blessed right mm -hmm. it's not what society says right it's not it's, it's, it's not it's not the husband and the car it's, it's right not, and the corporate career yes, and the big the, the big paychecks yes right mm -hmm. it's it's not even right the, these big old roles in the church it's not that either mm -hmm. god said to be blessed is basically to be humble and to be seek humble. after me he said mm -hmm. seek after your boy yes. and if you do that that makes you blessed that makes you blessed. so then we go to six. Oh my lord how am i gonna get to 12. You're going to get to How am I going to get to 12? Then we go, oh, get, and then he gives instructions, how to give, how to pray. You do all of those things, right? Mm -hmm. You do all of those things behind closed doors. And then seven, which is all ask, seek, knock. 
we were talking about this yesterday. The Lord mm -hmm. says, if you ask me, mm -hmm. you will receive. Yeah. Right? If you knock on my door, I'm going to open it for you. Open up your Bible. Right? And so, you know, <laughs> seek him first. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Eight, Jesus, he's performing all the miracles. Yeah. This Nine. Is, we see Jesus be Jesus. More miracles. Jesus is Jesus. Jesus okay? is Jesus. In, okay. Ten, Jesus he, is God ten, he's here. Commissioning, okay? He's commissioning the 12. We're okay. talking about fearing God and what they really like, what they really looks like. And I love when he comes in and he says, don't assume I came here to bring peace. To bring peace. Mm -hmm. I came up to stir some stuff up. Yeah. And I came to stir, stir up stuff that'll cause mother and daughter yes. to divide. He right? Because wanted he wanted us to make a decision. Yes. He didn't come here for religious rules. <laughs> hey, I like it. He didn't come here for religious rules. Yes. And then we get to 11. <laughs> Woo! Right? And it's yes. all about how John the Baptist doubts, which I think. Just in general, it's so good to read because y'all, we know, we've seen these miracles, God has moved in our lives, and mm -hmm. the hard stuff comes, and it's easy to doubt. It, Did that really happen? Mm -hmm. Did I really have that dream, and it came, yep. you know, and it came true? Did I really see the sign that Did I really, me? right, or did I just make that up? Or did I make it up? You mm -hmm. didn't make it up. You didn't make it up, boo-boo. He said what he said. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. And so now we start 12. Four, four and a half minutes later. Four and a half minutes later. Four and a half minutes later. later. I don't but know. I'm she sorry. did that for the ones, if you're new to the group, she did that for you. Yeah. So you four. don't feel like, oh, I didn't look four. at Matthew 1 through 11, so that means I can't go to tonight's live. Yeah. I, you did a great job, sister. Thank you. But that's four and I half expected minutes. you. Actually, I expected you to do all <laughs> Thank you, I Alan. Didn't, I didn't really think you were going to, to do it. I thought you were going to skip stuff like well, I do. I was like, but oh, you, I'm moving through. And then I'm like, wait, I'm, at, I'm on six. How am I going to get? You did a great Ooh. job. Thank you, Sheer. Thank you. Thank she you, did thank a great you. job. So, Anyways, it blessed all of us. So now I'm fired up. I'm fired up for 12. I am too. So girl. 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 Open, open your Bible. Bible to Matthew 12. Drop all the girls. <laughs> drop your girl when you got your Bible open to Matthew 12 yes, and let's get it. Yes, yes, yes. Drop your girl when your Bible's open to Matthew 12. It's all of our responsibility to read his word tonight. Yeah, it is not for yeah. us to read it to you unless you're driving. If you're driving, we are okay. reading it to you. Okay. But if you are at home or you're somewhere where you have access to your Bible and highlighters and a journal girl get it open yes get it open yes, yes, yes. there we go let's hey, do this. we're gonna do okay so y'all know we're reading in the csb we're about to do something a little bit different tonight oh yes yes we are we <laughs> are now like i don't yes. know something about the message right something yeah. about the message bible and translation we have some message bibles on the way we found a really good deal on amazon for like 15 dollars for um, message. a message a message translation bible and so we're gonna read some of the stuff tonight in the message, well, in the we're message gonna, translation. We're gonna do both. Yeah, we're gonna do both. Some of what we're gonna say, we're gonna do both. Cause it just, it hit different. Yeah. The message Bible can, it can Kinda hit Kinda like slap you in your face. Yeah, you be like, whoa, okay, I get it, clear, clearly. I so understand how you wanna do this, you saying. want me to like to read a section and then you read what it says in CSB? For like, I'll say I'm reading chapter, I mean, verses one to two. Cause you know how they clump it together yeah, and, oh, and then you do. read one and two. Uh, maybe I should go first. You go first. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So we're going to get started. Okay. Lord of that, or Lord of the Sabbath. At that time, Jesus passed through the grain fields on the Sabbath. His disciples were hungry and began to pick and eat some heads of grain. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to him, see, your disciples are doing what is unlawful mm -hmm. to do on the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Like they mad. They point stuff they, out. We all know people who point stuff out, mm -hmm. looking, judging, stop. Okay, mm -hmm. anyway. So he said to them, haven't you read what David did? Mm. Oh, Jesus said this. He said to them, haven't you read what David did when he and those who were with him were hungry? How he entered the house of God and they ate the bread of the presence, which is not lawful for him or for those with him to eat, but only for the priests? Or haven't you read in the law that on Sabbath days the priests in the temple violate the Sabbath and are innocent? I tell you that something greater than the temple is here. Ooh. If you had known what this means, I desire mercy and not sacrifice. You would not have condemned the innocent, the innocent for the son of man, for the son of man is the Lord of the Sabbath. Okay, so let me read verses six through eight in the message. So okay. it says, there is far more at stake here, mm. in, here than religion. Yep. If you had any idea what this scripture meant for he's like you don't even mm, got the clear yeah, you yeah, know meaning yeah, yeah. of the scripture here i prefer a flexible mm. heart to an inflexible ritual 
you wouldn't be nitpicking like this. Mm. The son of man is no yes man to the Sabbath. He is in charge. Yeah. When I say, yeah. when I read this yesterday, I said, oh my goodness. So our, uh, oh my girl. So our, my family's verse of the year is, our word of the year is he is in charge. Mm. And so I read this, I immediately text this to Julius. I was like, he ain't playing. Mm -hmm. He is not playing. He is in charge. Yep. And guess what? He's saying, I'm, I am not rigid. I'm not rigid. Right. I am not your religion. Yeah. Yeah. I I want love, mm -hmm. mercy. Yeah. Yeah. I want love and mercy. And this mm. is me here. This mm. is C taking golf Bible study hat, putting on me. Where's the love here in this world? Yeah. Yeah. Where is the love oh. here in this yeah. world? Yeah. We need to love. Mm hmm. There's so much love that is missing. We have hate, we have, you know, religion. Yeah. But where is yeah. Jesus? Mm-hmm. Right. And you. Not I know where he is at, yep. but where is Jesus in you? Yes. Yes. Where is his light? His love. He wants us to have flexible hearts. Hey, Renee. Hey yes. Renee, where is yes. the heart? Where is the heart? Where is where the love? Where is the love? Because here it says, y'all nitpicking. Y'all nitpicking. Y'all nitpicking. You nitpicking. You worried about the wrong thing. You worried about the wrong thing. How many of y'all be worried about the wrong thing? Okay. More like you, <laughs> you're asking me about the wrong yeah, thing. Yeah. Where and, is your heart? And I say this a lot. Anytime I go to God complaining, he mm -hmm. turned that thing right back on me. He's uh -huh. like, you worried about the wrong thing. Stop uh, worrying about what they doing. Uh, uh, uh. Turn, turn it on yourself. Yeah, turn yes. it on yourself. Yeah, thank you for um, sharing that, Taylor. Yeah, we were reading also, um, ju it's just the message translation. Yeah. Message, yeah, I'm the in the message U version at reading yeah. it from my phone. Yeah, so we've ordered some message Bibles, but they won't get here till tomorrow. Amazon, you know how they go. So okay. excited. If you want to know the link, though, we'll give you the link. Yes. We'll yeah, drop, yeah, drop, yeah drop, the one drop, that we, yeah. Who's in the streets. Okay. okay. You okay. want me to read this? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay, so the man with the shriveled hand. Verse 9. Verse 9, yeah. if he just hopped on a live. Moving on from there, he entered their synagogue. There he saw a man who had a shriveled hand. And in order to accuse him, they asked him, is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath? Wait, hold on. I don't think I caught this last night. In order to accuse him. Yeah. They wanted to get him. Yeah. So in order to accuse him, they asked him, is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath? Right. He, he just told him that he just told them he was in charge, first of all. Right. Y'all, he just told him, follow, the, follow along, y'all. He said, I'm in charge. So he replied to them, who among you, if he had a sheep that fell into a pit on the yeah. Sabbath, wouldn't take a hold of it and lift it out? You caring mm -hmm. about animals here. Mm -hmm. A person is worth more than a sheep. So it is lawful to do what is good on the Sabbath. Yeah. Then he, back to that heart, they back to that heart. Them. They were baiting. Back to that heart. Then he told the man, stretch out your hand. So he stretched out a hand and it was restored as good as mm -hmm. the other. But the Pharisees went out and plotted against him how they met, might kill him. That is incredibly wicked. Mm -hmm. He does something so powerful. Jesus and does beautiful. something so powerful and yeah. beautiful. And the Pharisees. They hated. They, they hated it and they started to plot to kill mm -hmm. him. Can you imagine how many, put yourself in the story. How many of you guys have done something so good, mm. had done something so good and you received hate from it? Mm. This lets you know Jesus who was here doing miracles. They yeah. hated him. So you're here, you're doing great at your job, wherever you're at, and people are giving you mm. hate for it? Mm. Just know that your father in heaven yeah. experienced it yeah. too. Everything you felt, yep. everything you're feeling, he has he has felt it. This his actions weren't no hate. No. He no, no, loved no. on the Sabbath. He cared. He worked on mm -hmm. the Sabbath. His heart was in the right spot. And a lot yeah. of you, your heart be in the right spot. Yeah. But others' hearts are not. Mm -hmm. They're not. Okay. Didn't say anything okay. different in the message. Uh, I just liked how it said here. Uh, Jesus said, it says, surely kindness to people is as legal as kindness to animals. Mm. Right? Mm. Love, 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 love. Just love. that same thing. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so the servant of the Lord started 15. Okay, 15. Jesus was aware of this and withdrew. Yeah. Large crowds followed him and he healed them all. He <laughs> warned them not to make him known so that what was spoken through the prophet Isaiah might be fulfilled. And so what was spoken? Here is my servant whom I have chosen, yeah. my beloved in whom I delight. I will put my spirit on him and he will proclaim justice to the nations. He will not argue or shout and no one will hear his voice in the streets. He will not break a bruised reed and he will not put out a smoldering wick until he has led justice to victory. The nations will put their hope in his name. Yeah, so I want y'all to continue to follow the story. So yeah. he heals the man with the shriveled hand, right? And he retreats from the Pharisees acting crazy, acting very wicked. He retreats. On his way as he's retreating, he's still healing people. Okay. You know, okay, I'm still going to do this okay. on the Sabbath. Pew, 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 pew. Everybody That's funny. healed. That's funny. Yeah. Everybody is healed on the way. Follow it. He's still healing people. Mm -hmm. He's still mm. being who he is. He's yep. still God. He's still yep. good. And he's still loving, even though they hate Yep. Okay, and he's reminding them he is who Isaiah has prophesied about. So it says nothing different in message. So a house divided, starting at verse 22. Then a demon-possessed man who was blind and unable to speak was brought to him. He healed him so that the man could both speak and see. Mm -hmm. Speak and see. That's how possessed yeah. he was. All the crowds were astonished, astounded, and said, could this be the son of David? When the Pharisees heard this, they said, this man drives out demons only by Beelzebub, the ruler of demons. Mm. Knowing their thoughts, knowing their thoughts, listen to this, knowing their thoughts, right? Because he is God. He told them every, every kingdom divided against itself is headed for destruction and no city or house divided against itself will stand. If Satan drives out Satan, he divides against himself. How then will his kingdom stand? And if I drive out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your sons drive them out? Question mark. For this reason, they will be your judges. If I drive out demons by the spirit of God, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. Remember that. The kingdom of God has come, because it's going to come back up again later on in this text. The kingdom of God has come upon you. How can someone enter a strong man? Listen to this. How can someone enter a strong man? Question mark. Then he can plunder his house. Anyone who is not with me is against me. And anyone who does not gather with me scatters, which means what? It's making it worse here. There's blasphemy against the spirit will not forgive and this blasphemy against the spirit will not be forgiven whoever speaks a word against the son of man it will not be forgiven mm -hmm. but whoever speaks against the holy spirit it will not be forgiven either in this age or in the age to come yeah yeah um what i like that the message bible says here it says this is war this is war and there is no neutral ground I mean, no neutral if you're not on my side you're the enemy. Mm -hmm. If you're not helping, you're making things worse. Girl. And that was like, who? It, it is a who. And so you make the decision. Yeah, we make the decision. Yeah. 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 We make this decision. Whose side are you going to be mm -hmm. on? There is no neutral ground. This is a, the last song we played was Heavenly War. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. this, this is war. Yeah. You yeah. know, make, make a decision. You know, mm -hmm. there's no neutral ground here. Hmm. Okay. A tree hmm. and its fruit. 33. Either make the tree good and its fruit will be good, or make the tree bad and its fruit will be bad. For a tree is known by its fruit. Uh, so what does that mean? You will reap a harvest. Mm -hmm. You will. What do you want it to be? Yes. What do we want it to be? What do we want it to be? Because we will reap a harvest. Yes. Right? Um, so 34, brood of vipers. How can you speak good things when you are evil? Right? Yes. For the mouth speaks from the overflow of the heart. Mm -hmm. A good person produces good fruit from his storeroom of good, and an evil person produces evil things from his storeroom of evil. Yeah. I tell you that on the day of judgment, people will have to account for every careless word they speak. For by your words, you will be acquitted, and by your words, you will be condemned. Yeah. Ooh, that was a lot. What yeah. does that one say in the message? Because I know that one was really good. So, uh, I want to start in 34. It says, you have minds like a snake pit. Mm. 
How do you suppose what you say is worth anything when you are so foul-minded? Mm, foul-minded? Foul-minded. Isn't that interesting? Your mind, your mind is in a snake pit, right? Your mind's like saying, so how can you expect to produce when you're, when you're foul-minded? It's your heart, not the dictionary. I think it's interesting. It doesn't say foul language, though. It says, it says foul-minded. Foul -minded. Okay, but go on. So it says, it's your heart, not the dictionary. Mm. So a lot of people, well, reading that, I'm like, well, some people want, they want to use big, these big words. And I was like, no, 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 no. It's what's in your heart that gives meaning to your words. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Because, you know, I always think about how people are like, ooh, bless your heart, right? And yeah. how that's supposed to be like a Southern insult. Yeah. Right? Yes. But, but, you know, it's not the words. Yeah, right? It's not the words. It's the meaning behind it. It's the meaning behind it. It's words. your heart posture yeah. behind it. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. That's a lot. That is a lot right yeah. there that just ministered to my mm -hmm. heart. That would be like, mm. So I'll, I'll leave it alone. Yeah, power in the tongue, Sabrina. I'll leave it alone. Okay. A good person produces good deeds oh, like and that. words seasons after seasons. Mm. A good person produces good deeds and words seasons after, after season. season. An evil person is a blight on the mm. orchard. Let me tell you something. Every one of these careless words is going to come back to haunt you. Mm. There will be a time of reckoning. Words are powerful. Take them seriously, y'all. Words can be your salvation. Words can be your damnation. Mm. This is a big deal. Words have mm -hmm. power. We mm -hmm. know this because when the Lord created the earth, he spoke it. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yep. What was we listening to the other day? Sounds like, you know, when you speak, it's going to come true. Uh, I don't know. I'll, it'll come back to me. It was something we were listening to. And, well, everybody knows if you speak it, it come up. But it was like someone was in mm -hmm. some type of situation where she knew if she kept, like, she was speaking things and it, and it kept coming true. And so, news for everybody. Mm -hmm. Speak what you, speak mm -hmm. what he wants you. Mm -hmm. Speak in his will. Mm -hmm. Speak in his yeah. will. Not yeah. your own will, but speak mm -hmm. in his will. Okay, let's talk about these signs. Ooh. So then some of the scribes and Pharisees said to him, Teacher, we want to see a sign from you. Now, mind y'all, I said follow the story. Mm -hmm. He has already been showing okay. signs here. Okay, come on now. Follow the story, y'all. Hasn't he been doing it? Right, the whole time. They said, hey, Hands dribble, heal, healing people on the way while he was treated. Yes, he has been yes, showing yes. signs. They want to see more signs. Mm, so Jesus answered them and said, An evil and adulterous generation demands a sign, mm. but no sign will be given to it except a sign of a prophet Jonah. Yeah. For as Jonah was in the belly of a huge fish for three days and three nights, so the Son of Man will be in the heart of the earth for three days and three nights. The man of Nineveh will stand up against judgment with the generations and condemn it because they repented. And Jonah's preaching. And look, something greater than Jonah is here. The queen of the south will rise up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it because she came from the ends of the earth to hear Solomon's wisdom, which is a beautiful story. I gotta go, you got to go read that. And we will read it together when we do the kings. And look, mm -hmm. something greater than Solomon is here. Mm -hmm. They looking for a sign. Yeah. It's right in front of them. Mm -hmm. And it's bigger than the signs that they have all been reading about. Mm -hmm. right. right. For the years and years they've been reading about Jonah's story yes. and, the, and the Queen of the South story, how she was, it took a breath away to hear uh, yeah. Solomon's wisdom. She had never yeah. heard anything that beautiful mm -hmm. and that wise. And those things changed nations. And some of y'all, y'all looking for a sign of the Lord like, I done gave you thousands of signs. <laughs> he ain't a sign. Yeah, yeah. He done told us already that his grace is enough. Mm -hmm. His grace is enough. Get out of the shame. Yeah, yeah. Get, a, get from behind the, the guilt. Tell the enemy to shut up already. He is the sign. He is yeah. greater. Yeah. Okay, an unclean spirit's return, 43. When an unclean spirit comes out of a person, it roams through waterless places looking for rest, but doesn't find any. Mm. Then it says, I'll go back to my house that I came from. Mm -hmm. Returning, it finds, finds the house vacant, swept, and put in order. Yeah. Then it goes and brings with it seven other spirits from evil than itself, and they enter and settle down there. As a result, that person's last condition is worse than the first. That's how it also be with this evil generation. Now, 
I forgot to say before we started reading this section, fear not. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I forgot yeah, to yeah, enter yeah. and say, everybody, fear not. We're about to read a heavy mm -hmm. passage yeah. of scripture. Yeah. And some people, it triggers fear. Mm. I yes, don't want to be yes, clean yes. because some, yes. it can come back seven times. Right. Fear not. Why? Because I told you two sections ago to remember what we said about the kingdom, about Jesus mm -hmm. filling in that space and the kingdom of God filling in that space, you know, of the unclean mm -hmm. spirit. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, of the unclean spirit. Yeah. So if Jesus is occupying the throne in our hearts and our mind, then the enemy doesn't have a home to return in. Right. Because the Lord right. is your home. But it's easy to read that section and be like, I'm afraid. I don't yes, want to. I don't want yes. to be right. It can evoke fear for sure. It can evoke yeah, fear for sure. For sure. But that's why we have to pay attention because Jesus, He answers it before. If He is, you know, your King, if He is your Father, if you truly believe mm -hmm, that, because mm -hmm. you can't be divided, you have to choose a side. You choose Him. Mm -hmm. He is in here. Do not be afraid on who else tries to come. Yeah. Yeah. No one can occupy you because he is on the throne of your heart. Mm -hmm. He is on the throne of your mind. Yeah. Because you're his. You're his. Mm -hmm. Okay. Last but not least, verse 46 through 50. While he was speaking, while he was still speaking with the crowds, his mother and brothers were standing outside wanting to speak to him. And someone told him, look, your mother and your brothers are standing outside wanting to speak to you. He replied to the one who was speaking to him, who is my mother and who, and who are my brothers? Stretching out his hand towards his disciples, he said, here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my father in heaven is my brother and sister and mm. mother. Mm. Yeah. That's a good place to end. It sure is. It sure is. That's a great place to end. Because he's saying, y'all are my people. Yep. You at, you're at my home. Yep. I'm at home with you. Mm -hmm. You are mine. Mm hmm Yeah. You are his. Yes, spiritual family. Yes. You are his. So don't be afraid of the enemy. Yeah. Because you are Jesus. And he came on this earth not to bring peace. Why? Mm -hmm. Because the enemy is at war. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. This is a war. He came after you. He came after me. Mm -hmm. He came after charity. And he said, any of y'all who do my will, to do my yes. father's business, yes. is mine. Yep. That's just a beautiful, beautiful, that's a beautiful it declaration. Is, so is. we want to know key takeaways. Yes, yes. We want to know key, key takeaways. takeaways. Let us know in the comments. Let us know in the comments. So, before we get off of here, mm -hmm. we need to say Wednesday. We have decided to do Wednesday lives at 10 a.m. Yeah, yeah. We know that that's, you know, a lot of you will be at work, et cetera. Yes. Please hit up the replay. Yeah, hit up the replay. Some yeah. of y'all will be probably at lunchtime if you're yeah. on Eastern Standard yeah. Time. Watch us on lunchtime. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. we thought on Wednesdays we'll try a different time than Mondays and Fridays. Mondays and Fridays will be here at 6 30. Yep. It's a good time for those days. But Wednesdays for us, it has to be at 10. Mm -hmm. And so we will see you guys at 10 yep. on Wednesday. Yep. Central time. Yep. Central time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Girl. 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 Open, Open your, your Bible. Bible. Hi.